All right, guys, so this is the second take. Uh, I did this whole voiceover and I uh, didn't realize the microphone was off. So I'm using the DR Field and Brush Mower. This is the homeowner's mower that I'm using. And this thing is phenomenal. I'm cutting English Ivy and right there, that is a thicket of Forsythia. And this thing, it has a 13, 13 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. It's got, um, these really aggressive uh, off all terrain tires on there. And this mower is amazing. I've used this mower a lot. I've cut down a lot of bamboo with it. Um, and you see these, uh, like these saplings right here that I'm going beside, uh, those little dogwood saplings. If I wanted to, that this mower, I'd just raise it up and the mower would just actually just cut it down and it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even bog it. But this English Ivy is nothing for this. Uh, this thing will cut, I think, up to four foot high grass. This is the belt drive one. This is like the highest end, I believe, commercial or um, residential model they have. They do have a hydrostatic one, but this is not that. So every time I go forward or back, uh, I have to put it in um, reverse. And it has four forward gears and a neutral and reverse. So, But I am just going over this. This has not been done. Um, probably in a couple of years. So they wanted to just get it knocked down. And this mower is, it's perfect for this job. This is exactly what it is used for. Now I've got the Echo 3020T right here. I've got it with the Edget Pro and I've got um, the 500 head, the Echo 500 head. And also I'm using the Green Gator Magnum Square Line 0.130. It absolutely does not phase this trimmer whatsoever. I could do this with the um, 2620T and it would do it, but it wouldn't do it as quick or efficiently. Uh, this thing will even cut small saplings. Now here is where it really shines. I was trying to reveal the edge of the driveway. It had been several years since I've done this. And of course the dirt and the ivy and all that had forced its way over the edge. Some places uh, almost a foot. And I was having some problems with the line inside the head. It was actually melting from the heat. Um, that line is very temperamental. And I probably need to soak what I've got in some water to just Get it a little bit more flexible because it's a very stiff line but right here i'm cutting these gigantic roots and you'll see in a minute that root i'm working on right there um i was getting ready to get my axe to cut it but i was wanting to see if the uh there it is wanting to see if the line would do it and it did it so but it uh, it did a phenomenal job and again uh the 2620t could do this but this is the better tool for the job and this is what it's all about so I hope you guys like this voiceover. Let me know if you like this in addition to uh, the music on the time lapse. And I will talk to you guys later.